In this video, we are going to continue to acquire some data entry skills. We're going to talk about a very prominent tool in Excel called uh, the fill handle. So kick back, relax, and uh, let's do it. I would like to draw your attention to this thing here that is always available at the a lower right hand corner of the active cell. This is called the fill handle, the fill handle. It's either at the end of the active cell at the lower right hand corner of the active cell, or if you have a selection, if I select multiple cells now, it is in the lower right hand corner of the selection. It's called the fill handle. And it is a very prominent tool. Most people start using it kind of intuitively but let's uh, see what it does for you. You can use it to do data entry. Let's say if I type something, I'm going to type one and accept my change by control enter. Now I can point very carefully at the fill handle. And when the cursor changes into this crosshair, you can click and drag down. And it will give you one, 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 one. This is copy action. Excel is copying by using the fill handle. You can copy. But pay attention whenever you use the fill handle at this little thing that comes up. That is called the smart tag. If you click on the smart tag, in this case, you can actually change your action a little bit. For example, I can, I can choose fill series instead of copy and it will fill series one, two, three, four, five, and so on, sequential series. Let me show you a different way to do this. Let's say I type uh, two and I type five. Control enter. Now I select both of them. Now I have a selection by clicking and dragging. And now I'm gonna grab by the fill handle and drag it down again. Well, now Excel is filling the numbers based on the pattern that I have established. So two and five, five minus two is three. So it's five plus three is eight, and then plus three is 11, 11 plus three is 14. So it's just adding three using the pattern that I created. I can also do something else here. I can do nine and a clock. Let's see what happens now. I'm gonna grab by the fill handle. And when you have data adjacent to the column in which you're working, like here I have, uh, I already have some data here on the left hand side, and I'm working in this cell, which is cell D2. At that point, you can uh, double click on the fill handle instead of clicking and dragging on the fill handle. So if you double click, it will just go all the way to the end of your data set to the last row with data. It's a very convenient way to do this when you have 55,000 rows to fill. So when I type uh, nine o'clock, nine and uh, colon and zero, zero, it is giving me 10, 11, 12, 13, kind of following the same pattern. Let me type something else. I'm gonna type Monday. And now I'm going to grab the fill handle and double click on it. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So, so it is filling days of the weeks now using a list, a built-in internal list in Excel. Uh, it has a shortened version of it. So let's say I type Monday, M-O-N. And now I can double click and fill it down. I'm going to scroll a little bit and do something else. For example, Jan for January, right? I'm going to use the fill handle again and double click on it. And it's filling months, January, February, March, April, and so on. What if I wanted to copy January? Well, that is also easy to do. If you click on the fill handle again, now instead of filling series, I can decide I want to copy cells and it will be January throughout. So it's really easy to use the fill handle. Sometimes it will surprise you. You expect something else, but pay attention to 
pay attention to the fill handle and uh, chances are it will allow you to switch your action a little bit and you can change it and uh, enter what you want. Let me give you, let me, let, let's do another one. So do one minus gen. What will happen if I do this one? One, two, three. That's not minus, obviously. One January. How about student one? And I'm going to fill series with that one. Well, student one, student two, three, four, five, and so on. Let me scroll a little bit. How about product five? I go back and um, use the fill handle. Well, six, seven, eight, nine, and so on. So it is a very, very prominent way to fill data into into Excel. Let me show you one example with a date. So let's say I have today's date right here. I'm going to control semicolon to do today's date, right? And now control enter to accept it. Now I can not only use the fill handle to go down to fill data down like this, and it will give me the next day and the next and the next value, but I can also click and drag up and it will give me the previous values. So it is click down, click and drag down or click and drag up. You can also do this horizontally, but there's no way to double click. So I'm going to do it on this empty space. Let's say I do quarter one. That would be interesting. Right. So I'm going to click now by the fill handle and drag to the right. So it's quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, quarter four. Excel is hel helping me out. I don't have to type them. Uh, if there's a list in there, which is a very common list, quarters or months or years, you can uh, use the fill handle to fill it down or up or right or left. And uh, it is kind of a miraculous tool. For beginners, usually have trouble pointing very precisely. You really need to point precisely at the fill handle to use this method. If I move the cursor just a little bit, this is no longer the fill tool, no longer the fill series tool. So now if I click and drag, this is actually move tool. When I, I'm going to control Z to undo. And uh, you really need to be very, very precise. You, you need to have good uh, mouse hand coordin coordination to work the fill handle. But it is a really, really interesting tool. So that's uh, what I wanted to show you as uh, in regards to the fill handle. You will be using it a lot. I use it a lot uh, and it's very convenient uh, tool. Uh, so it, it helps to be very comfortable with it. The main thing is remember about the smart tag. Once you use it, you have, a, have the smart tag. If you don't access it, you just keep working, it will disappear. So if I do something else, the smart tag is gone. It will not come back. But right after the action, if you see the smart tag, check it out. It might have some options that will do what you want to do instead of providing some kind of, a, kind of an assumption for you. So uh, click around, right click, use the fill handle, enter some data, explore, be curious, and uh, I will see you in the next video.